Today I'm playing Nerdle by Richard and Imogen Mann. As you might have guessed, this game was inspired by Wordle, and it has similar gameplay but with math. To play, you type out a math equation, and the equation has to have at least one operator, and only numbers can be on the right side of the equal sign. The Nerdle website has a how to play page and an FAQ explaining order of operations, negatives, and other kinds of specifics like that. When you make a guess, the wrong items will show up with a black square. The purple squares are correct numbers or operators, but in a wrong spot, and the teal squares are correct and in the correct spot. So in my example, the equal sign is in the right place, and my answer does start with 5, but the 4 and the 2 earlier in the equation are correct but in the wrong position. As you make your second guess, it's good to remember that you can have more than one of the same number, so possibly there's more than one 2. But as we can see from my first guess, where I guessed the answer was 55, and that second 5 turned out black, that would mean there's only one 5 in the entire equation. So with each guess, it gets harder to figure out because the equation has to work, and numbers on your number pad down below are ruled out with each guess. So any of the numbers on your number pad that are black can't be used in the next guess. Uh, but as you're guessing the math, it has to be an actual math equation. So I probably lucked out on my second guess here because a lot of my answers were in the right spot. And now I'm just missing the second number and the last number. So now it's uh, sort of like in Wordle where you have rhyming words and you just keep going through all the rhyming words. I'm going through the various math equations that would work with these numbers. And so as I go down the line with the numbers I haven't used yet, I was actually able to solve this one pretty quickly. And that's what it looks like when you win, and it allows you to share your results in the form of colored squares like Wordle does. Thanks for watching! If you liked this, be sure to check out my video called How to Play Number Brain.